Hey everybody, Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming once again with a um, segment that I've done a couple times with the other consoles and uh, I, I thought this time it'd be nice to do it for uh, the PlayStation 4. So um, if you guys haven't seen them yet or up to this point, I have done uh, Xbox and a Nintendo 64 uh, controller videos. So if you guys are the type that's into different controllers, not just first party, whether it be third party or those weird, some may say janky Japanese uh, or Chinese made controllers, uh, I am. I love these controllers. I love the fact that, you know, you can just go on Amazon or go into retro game stores or uh, play Asia and just order all these interesting, interesting uh, type of controllers. So with that said, let me show you some of the ones, not just the ones I got for Christmas, but those are the ones that I've been collecting because Christmas I did get a number of uh, PlayStation controllers, which I'm not a big fan of the standard, yeah, that, that design. Don't really like the, the, the sticks being on the same plane. I don't know, and, and the PS4 controller seems rather, I know, wait for it. It seems cheap to me. It, it's very, very light, very, uh, that's why I have this this sleeve on it, uh, this um, silicone sleeve. It gives it a little more weight. It feels like not cheap. So um, yeah, let's take a look at uh, some of the others. If you guys like them, I'll drop the links in uh, the links for all of them. I think they should all be available on Amazon uh, down below. But let's get started. All right. So let's get started. We'll first take a look, brief look. We all know the standard PS4 DualShock. Uh, this is the, I, I have a silicone sleeve over it, like I said, because I'm not a big fan of the weight, so I wanted a little heavier and protect it from a lot of smudges because, as you see, this is the 50 million whatever number they decided to make up for this edition. The blue and gold one I liked it because it was blue, but you can see how the fingerprints just <sighs> yeah and imagine that over the entire controller yeah it's a cool controller but i use this quite a bit um when i would use the standard one but mainly i use this when i just grab a controller and i'm watching youtube or something on uh, my ps4 otherwise this one doesn't get any major gameplay usage i use well now i use one of the ones that i got uh, for christmas quite a bit for either this one or the one in the living room. So let's start with let's start with a wired with a wired option. This one I posted on our Instagram a little bit ago. This is not too different than the PS4 uh, DualShock 4. This is a wired option. I kind of I think it was 20, 25 bucks, and I just thought it was nifty. There's like nothing on it. It's so limited. Um, but it is a solid option. As you can see, it looks very similar to the PS4 build. No light bar up here. They call this the light bar, but yeah, it doesn't. Uh, touchpad is fine. Start and share. Now the sticks look like they ripped straight from an actual PS4 controller. So the D-pad is a billion times better than that standard. That, which I'm sorry, I hate it. But this one is, it's nice, it's very smooth. The buttons are solid. Besides the, the rough edges here, it's actually not bad. And this, this is interesting. It's not super rough, but one of the guys at the, at the store where I got it, at, at a uh, game store in Orlando called Cybertron, he, uh, I, I guess you could say, described it as deck tape for skateboarding. And I was like, yeah, it's it, it, it's pretty it's pretty rough, and this is from TTX Tech. <sighs> Inexpensive third party. I know you can get them on Amazon for roughly the same price. <sighs> hey, it's a good wired option if if that's what you're looking for. It's it's actually not too shabby. You are missing some of the features. Next, we'll go with um, the Hori. Onyx. The Hori Onyx is slight different. Here I haven't been able to get this sucker in the US. 
So I got her on Amazon and I thought, oh, you know, maybe it just wasn't sold. Apparently it's a European edition. So this is the Onyx. Now, when you sync it to your PlayStation, it doesn't act like a regular PS4 controller. That's a little bit of pain in the butt. You have to sync it like you're sy syncing a, uh, a Bluetooth device. So once you sync, sync it, then it works just fine. The only thing is, the, the, the grip style, it's very sharp, it's very thin, it feels very weird. I don't know. The, the sticks are actually very good, so is the D-pad. Solid, solid D-pad. Feels great, doesn't hurt the fingers. The sticks are not too loose. I, I, I think they're fine. Shoulder buttons, this one's a little floaty. It, it, it's like loose before you touch it. Like, I, I shouldn't say loose before you touch it. It's, it's a little loose before it actually gets the full press. And it feels a little weird. The shoulder buttons are great. These are, these are perfect, I think. This is what PlayStation shoulder buttons should be like because there's a lot of people, myself included, want to hit a button like this and then go real quick. And the thing is, with a regular PlayStation one, you have to, you have to hit on the top. And yeah, not a big fan of that. Now, touchpad is great. It works just fine. It's got a texture grip back here. As you can see, it's very similar to an Xbox uh, controller, but not identical. So this is a good option. Um, I like it. I do use it. This is the main one I use on my PS4 in the living room for the moment, but the battery life is pretty pooey. So after, I think it was a day, day and a half, battery's dead. That's the only bad thing. And that's, we were playing, um, SingStar, I was playing some Shenmue, uh, trying out, uh, a couple of other games, uh, just downloading some new things, and it died. So battery life not the greatest so that's where the wired ones come in you don't have to worry about battery life but you are tethered to the console depending on how far you are sitting away from the console now the next one is what some people like to call janky this is that chinese one that i told you about earlier that i ordered it came in this box yes game controller made in china PS4 controller, 268 blue, whatever that means. Game controller. Look at that Pac-Man. How can that be good? It's all about Pac-Man. because And a shell from Mario and the question... I don't know. But this has turned out to be the best of all of them. Yeah. Whoa. What is that cheap looking piece of junk, you may say? You know what? This cheap looking piece of junk is fan fantastic it has an xbox 360 shape headphone jack light bar chargeable longest battery life of all of them it lasts i think i went four or five days using it consistently without charging it and it, it's fantastic the sticks i don't know if you can see them there very similar to 360 uh sorry xbox one you've got here the, the touchpad is great the home everything yeah, it has that clacky sound. The shoulder buttons are the only thing I have a little issue with. It, it's more of a, the PlayStation. These They do feel a little cheap. E even the I, I Wish You Feel the Give. It's got a little bit of pushback to it, which is fine. But it, the, yeah. Mm, mm. Just feeling that just makes me. Mm. But sticks are fantastic. Now, now. The thing with this one, the shape is very, very comfortable. If you're a fan of the, the Xbox 360 especially, it's going to be very comfortable. The sticks are fine. The D-pad is... D-pad's okay. Because yeah, it, it's... It's not like, say, the other ones where it has a little more give. Where this one actually feels like a full D-pad. This with this plastic uh, circle shape, it, it feels a little weird. But it's not awful. It's not awful by any means. It just you have to be one of those people that picks your finger, your your thumb up off the D-pad as you're using it. Now, unlike any of the other ones, this one syncs and is recognized by your PS4 just as uh, a PS4 DualShock would be. 
I was shocked, blown away. That light bar, everything. There's not even a little sticker on the back from the manufacturer. There's, it's, it was nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> I don't know, but I will tell you what. <laughs> for I think this was a ten, twelve dollar controller, if that. Uh, I'm not even sure what it was because all my controls are on sale all the time, and these, uh, the Hori, this one, and the next one were all uh, gifts by my wife uh, from my Amazon wish list. So a lot of the stuff was on sale during the holidays. And this one, of all of them, is, is fantastic. Now, the next one, the next one is still my favorite. Uh, it's not a brand that's easily found here in the US. I haven't seen it in any stores except for uh, mom and pop retro stores. But this is, uh, I think it's a European brand from my understanding. Uh, if you guys know a little bit more about it, drop it in the in the comments below, right down. Just drop them down there. Tell me if you know anything. This is the Nacon, Nacon, Nason, as you can see, for the PS4 Revolution Pro Controller 2. Now, I did see the original compared to this one. The new one, the original had some kind of weird screw in that looked like an RF that you plug into the top, and I was like, eh. So this one has 46 degree sticks, dual vibrator, dual vibration, which is dual shock, of course, adjustable weight. Now that is really cool. Uh, the cable and it's programmable via PC. Now I have not programmed it via PC. No, will not, don't need to. So yeah, now let me show you this little bad boy. So it came with this little pouch which is really cool that little pouch it's, it's nice came with the detachable USB cable and here's the control there's only one thing about it it's beautiful feels great it has buttons here here that's all programmable that's fantastic the texture is great the only thing is the fingerprints you know it, it, it looks weird after you use it quite a bit, and this one I have been using. This one has a concave and a convex stick. Convexed here, concave there. And if I'm not mistaken, no, that's the wrong controller. Um, I thought I had purchased one where you can adjust these, but unfortunately you can't. Touchpad is fine. No light bar. No light bar whatsoever. And look at them fingerprints. That's one bad thing I'm... Glossy, anything glossy, and it's a, it's a big thing against uh, a lot of game manufacturers and their consoles and their controllers when they glossify stuff. Now, shoulder buttons, fantastic. Easy press, quick. Same thing with the triggers. It, it's a little weird shape right here. Feels weird on the, on the finger when you're holding it there, but you get used to it. You, same thing with the sticks. Uh, one being shaped one way and one being shaped the other. It's you get used to it. And I have now this lights up. Plug into the controller. This lights up. So this is a wired, not a wireless. If I'm not mistaken, they do offer a wireless version, but it's the same thing. And honestly, I didn't see the the need to pay for a wireless one when they die. As you can see, what I said with the other ones, the controllers they die quickly. Now this D-pad is a little weird. Um, it's not bad once you use it, but it's weird and it really speaks for itself. It's just the shape. It feels funny. Those little indents right there. It's, it's not completely comfortable when you run your finger through, but it doesn't hurt. It just feels awkward. You got your options and your share. That's fine. <laughs> now these buttons are programmable. It's a little interesting because each press here acts like a different button. So as you have your hands back here, you hit it like this with, this is the way I hit it with the middle finger. So I go there and there. It's a little weird to get used to, but it's a very nice controller. The weight, the adjustables, you can pop them out right here. I don't have the, the little key, it's back in the box. Let me see, let's, let's see if it's in here because one cool thing about this little sack it holds my junk. Ah. Yeah, it has the 
Here we go. That's the little key. And adjustable. Wait. And it comes with a little cleaning wiping cloth because, yeah, everything is all glossy. So you can... Shiny. Ah, shiny. Yeah, look at that. And there you go. And it's all clean. So these pop out. Let's see if I can pop those out. These were a bit of a pain to take out. Oops. Beating up the camera there. Now, pop this out. Let's see. And then we'll pop in the... There we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And that's how you can adjust the, the weights in here. I put more of the heavier ones just because I like a, a heavier controller. I'm a big fan of the Xbox uh, Elite Series 1 and Series 2. And I find that pretty nifty. You just slide them in there and then you use the key to lock them back. So there you go. That is a fantastic controller. The Nacon, am I pronouncing that right? Nacon, Nacon? Revolution Pro Controller 2. Uh, those are my one, two, three, four, five different options for the PS4, unlike the Xbox One or the Switch. Switch video coming soon. Oof, that's gonna be a video. Um, I, have, I have too many for the Switch. But hey, that video will come soon. But these are the different options you have, maybe, and a lot more uh, in terms of controller. Put you, I'm gonna stick you over there. I'm gonna put you over there. And I'm gonna put you right there. Options that are outside the standard PS4 controller. So, thank you guys for watching this. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll see if I can find these on Amazon once again. Drop a couple of links below. And then, hey, you know what? You might find one you like. If not, hey, you know, no biggie. You got a little info out of this video. So remember to head on over to redbandandagaming.com for all your RBG goodness. Head on over to our socials, Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram, RBG underscore retro at Twitter. And if you haven't subscribed, now's the time. Hit that little subscribe button. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.